It's still early out in Cali, baby, don't you wanna rally again? Find a road with no name, way back in the slow lane Skies dropping Jupiter around us like some old train We'll be rolling down the windows, I bet you we'll catch a nice second wind We don't have to go home, we can leave the night on But we can leave the night on Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and for watching as always and for anybody who shared with their friends, I really appreciate it. So, in this video we are going to do my May fitness favorites. I know I didn't do one for April, I kind of forgot and the month got away from me, but I'm starting this one off strong with the May favorites. So, let's start with protein bars. So I have three different protein bars that made the cut this month so I think it might have been April or the end of March when these bars came out these are the new oh yeah one bars the new flavors so I think I've showed you guys before one of my favorites was the cinnamon bun oh yeah one bar which is so good and then they just came out with this one which is maple glazed donut and salted caramel. They also have a blueberry muff blueberry muffin or is it blueberry cobbler flavor which is also really good but I don't have it with me so I can't show it to you. But these ones are my favorite. These they're probably all tied. This one, these two and the cinnamon bun one are probably tied for my number one favorite. Like I said I really like oh yeah one bars. Those quests in combat are my top three faves and this is just delicious. It honestly tastes like a maple glazed donut like Okay, I haven't had a donut in quite a long time, but I used to eat these ones. I think this flavor was like my mom's favorite flavor donut. So I know what they taste like, and it literally tastes like that. You can taste the maple so good, and it's just delicious. And it has like a glaze on it as well, so it's so good. It tastes like a dessert. And then same with the caramel one. It's, you know, caramel, salted caramel. So delicious as well. It also has like a glaze. These ones are really good. And the macros are great. Um, for one bar, it is... 8 grams of fat, 24 grams of carb, and 20 grams of protein. So, really recommend it. You can get them from GNC or the Vitamin Shop or uh, like some gyms have it. I remember I was looking all over for these bars and when they first came out and I could not find them anywhere. And then I happened to randomly go to a random gym that I don't ever go to because my friend wanted to go to that gym. And they had them there and I was so happy and I was... Yeah, super excited and I bought like a bunch of them and they're so good. And then along the same line with protein bars is the new Quest Bar. So this one actually just came out last week. So it came out May, like 15-ish, middle of May. Um, the new Quest Hero Bars. So this one is the vanilla caramel flavor. And then they also have a chocolate caramel pecan which I just ate yesterday and it was so good. And it's like, quite, okay... And then the third one, it's like a, a berry cobbler, a berry pie or something, which was delicious. I had that one first, and then I had the chocolate caramel pecan yesterday. And then there's this one. I haven't tried this one yet, but so far, the other two have just been amazing. So I know these will be good. And if you guys are used to Quest Bars, these are like a whole different type of bar. So they're called the Quest Hero Bars. So they're not like the usual Quest Bars at all. I'll open it so you can see. Quest Bars aren't usually like a coated bar. Uh, like the Combat Crunch Bars, those are covered in like chocolate. Um, Quest Bars aren't usually like that. But these Quest Hero Bars are. So, again, if you're used to regular Quest Bars, they're totally different. So, it's more like, they try to, they say it's like the healthy candy bar. And that's honestly what it tastes like. It's so sweet and delicious. And so this is what it looks like. And when you break it up, you'll see like the gooey like caramel and everything on the inside it is so good and like I said like the other one the chocolate caramel pecan was just like this and it just tastes like honestly a sweet dessert like it is delicious and I already really like quest bars like I like the other type of quest bars too but these ones are they don't taste you know the same they're totally different but they're just amazing in their own way so I really recommend it uh quest bars you can get from GNC and Vitamin Shop as well or probably any other health um, food store like that. And the macros on these bars are, so these ones are 9 grams of fat, 29 grams of carb, and 16 grams of protein. And then there's 10 grams of fiber in this. So Quest Bars are known for their fiber. They always have really good fiber. So that's really great. You want to look for protein bars that have high protein, high fiber, 
and then like low sugar. So I really recommend these, delicious. They just taste like another dessert, like I said. All right, and next up, we're going to go to the powdery type stuff. So first, you guys probably saw this in, if you watched my full day of eating video, I believe. This is the Amazing Grass Green Superfood. So like I kind of talked about, this is a superfood powder, which means it just has a bunch of vegetables and some fruit. So there's, in one scoop, it is only 25 calories, three grams of carb, um, one gram of fiber, two grams of protein, and it has wheatgrass, alfalfa, barley grass, broccoli, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, carrot, acai, rosehip, beet, maca, pineapple, um, fiber, organic flaxseed, apple, and just a whole bunch of probiotics as well. And so this is really good, especially if you have problems like eating your vegetables like have a scoop of this a day at least you can mix it in milk it tastes like chocolate milk it's so good or put it in your yogurt it makes your yogurt all chocolate it tastes like chocolate like pudding put it in your shakes just anything it's delicious there's also different flavors so I got the chocolate one because I'm obviously a chocoholic but they just have like a regular one which is just you know not flavored at all they have like an orange one which tastes like a creamsicle so find what you like found these at Sprouts I think they have them at Whole Foods, and they have them actually at a lot of places. They have them at the vitamin shop, so go get it. I recommend it. Get your micros in. They're good for you. This is Fiber DX Cinnamon Bun. So, again, if you guys watched my full day of eating, I made a fiber pancake at the end for dessert, and I've been having that every night for dessert, but I had mentioned that I was using psyllium husk before and that turned out great. But I wanted to try this Fiber DX cinnamon bun because I heard it was so good. And then recently I went to the vitamin shop in Hallelujah. They had it there and I was so excited. I had to try it because I love like cinnamon bun flavored stuff. So I grabbed it. They had different flavors too like strawberry and I don't know different stuff. But this caught my eye. So I got it. So one scoop is 31 grams. I usually just use half a scoop in my pancakes. Um, but for one scoop, it's 80 calories, 1.5 fat, 12 carbs, with 14 grams of fiber. Like, that carb-to-fiber ratio is crazy. And then 13 grams of protein. So I really recommend this. It's so important to get enough fiber in your diet. And so I recommend that something like this to help you with that. Quest Bars, again, that has fiber too. And just eat a lot of vegetables and fruit, and you'll get your fiber as well. But this is amazing. It tastes so good, like cinnamony, bunny, obviously. Um, you can like put it in like shakes and stuff like in your protein shakes again you can mix it in yogurt just it'll make anything like a good flavor but like I said I've been making a pancake with it to see the recipe you can go watch my full day of eating uh, my last full day of eating video uh, so good highly recommend it and fiber products are like really good for baking because it gives it a nice like gooey thick consistency so I also make mug cakes with this uh, just it's just egg white it's the same, actually, ingredients as the pancake. It's just egg whites, this. So I do. Let me tell you. Three-fourth cup egg whites, about two scoops of this, um, and then a teaspoon of baking powder, and then you mix it up. You put it in, like, a mug or a bowl, and then you put it in the microwave for about, like, a minute. Well, just keep microwaving it until it gets to the right consistency, and it's so good, and I top it with nuts and more peanut butter and caramel Walden Farms, and it's just delicious. So I recommend this. Vitamin Shop. I think people say you can get it from like Whole Foods and stuff, but I didn't see it there. Maybe Sprouts. You can buy it online, of course, so I recommend that. One of my recent favorite supplements is Isatori Amino Grow Lemonade. So I always tell you guys that I love Isatori, and I do, but I never had the Lemonade BCA's flavor. I always get either the Blue Raspberry Snow Cone or the Mango Chiller one, and those are amazing, which is why I never decided to try the Lemonade, because I like those other two ones so much, so I just kept with those. But I ran out one day, and I went to GNC, and they only had the Lemonade flavor, so I got it, and I'm pretty sure it's my favorite. And so I'm so happy I tried it. Honestly, it tastes like lemonade. Like, it is so sweet and good uh i think you're you're supposed to like mix one scoop with probably like eight ounces what is it mix one scoop of amino grow and six to ten ounces of cold water but honestly it's so strong i mix it in like a lot more water than that and it still tastes so lemonadey i feel like it might be too strong if i did less water um so i drink these during my workout again bcas are branch chain amino acids they're the building blocks of protein they're great for muscle growth muscle recovery as well and they have 
um, coconut water electrolytes in here. So again, it's great for recovery. It helps reduce soreness and keeps your body anabolic during your workouts. So I really recommend BCAAs. You can use the code um, TECHE, I believe, to save you 15% off. If you guys want to try it, just go to isatori.com. They're amazing. They're delicious. Any of their flavors are good, honestly. Now that I've tried all of them, I can 100% recommend every single one. So those are like my foodie, fitnessy favorite stuffs, but I'm gonna end this favorites with kind of a more of a businessy product. So like I said, I really like reading books. Most of them are like self-help business or um, fitness nutrition books. Um, speaking of which, I have like a a health book that's gonna be in my next month favorites, I believe, because I know I really like it, but I want to finish reading it first. But this book that I'm sharing with you is more of the businessy side. It is The Power of Broke by Damon John. Is that his name? Yeah. So he's on Shark Tank. I don't know if you guys know this, but every day after I come home from work, I watch Shark Tank. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Anyways, he's one of the sharks on Shark, Shark Tank. He's a really uh, successful entrepreneur. And this book kind of talks about his story and how he became so successful. And the main thing is, is he started out with, like, he didn't have a lot of money. The power of broke. So he's talking about how you can do it without having a lot of money. Like, you don't need money to be to grow a successful empire. Like, he started with nothing. And he just talks about, like, the ways he got creative in order to, like, grow his business and what he had to do and how he persevered. And then he also gives a bunch of stories of different really successful people. Like, I haven't finished this book yet. But I really like it. My mom recommended it, so thank you, mom. Um, but I just read a chapter on Rob Deerdeck. I just read this chapter on Rob Deerdeck. So he's that, uh, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a really um, famous skateboarder and he has like a lot of shows on MTV. And no, most recently, he's doing um, the show called Ridiculousness. I watched that with my, I used to watch that with my brother a lot. Um, he's very successful. He has like a lot of brands and products that you guys probably don't even know that he's associated with. But anyway, so he like talked about his story and how he got to be where he is. And there's just a bunch of chapters of different people and how they became successful with their business and everything and showing that you don't need a lot to start out with. Like just have perseverance and be relentless in your pursuit of what you're trying to accomplish and you'll get it done. So I really like it. Again, I'm not done with it, but I had to share it because it's just great so far. And so I wanted to throw that in here. But anyways, that is going to conclude this month's fitness favorites. I know this video kind of gets long usually, so I tried to keep it concise and shorter this time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you try any of the products, let me know. Again, the bars are freaking amazing. I'm just obsessed with protein bars, so... Yeah, but everything is amazing, obviously, or I wouldn't have shared it with you. So, feel free to try them. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you like it. And, again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more and support my page or my YouTube channel, whatever this is. And I'll see you in the next one. I don't know why I keep going like this. Okay.